Hey guys, I'm here to talk with you about the 762 by 39 caliber in the AR-15 platform. Now, all this started with a conversation I had with one of my friends, Bobby. He was wanting uh, this caliber in an AR for hog hunting. And uh, I dismissed it at first because I looked at this problem several years back. And the main downfall with it was the magazines. They just did not feed reliably. But upon further reflection, I figured a bunch has changed most likely in the past 15 years or so since I looked at that, and indeed it had. You got a few manufacturers out there, ASC, C Products, and then you got the Unimag out there. So looking at all the options I had in front of me, C Products seemed like it had the best reputation. And besides that, it, they had a 28 round magazine which was compatible with all my Alice LBE equipment. So I figured that's the one to go with. So what all exactly is needed in this conversion? Well, simply a barrel, a bolt, a firing pin, and the magazine. So that may seem pretty simple, but the devil, like anything, is in the details. So as far as bolts goes, I haven't really found anything in particular that points me to one manufacturer over another. But what I did incur an issue with was when I used the Bear Creek Arsenal bolt. The issue I had with it was failures with the bolt getting into battery. And what the hang up was is there was too much tension on the extractor. Open it up and I found actually three components in there instead of just the extractor spring. There was the extractor spring, there was an O-ring, and then there was a piece of rubber going down the middle of that extractor spring. And uh, I, I don't know what was going on with that, but I just removed all the rubber pieces and I just start running. The standard extractor spring is, is specified in the mill spec and sure enough it started running fine for me. And like any uh, cheapskate, I tried to get by with a standard AR-15 firing pin. And sure enough, I had constant uh, light primer strikes. So every one and three, uh, one and two uh, rounds was causing an issue on my gun. So I went online and I bought a Red X enhanced 762 by 39 firing pin. And that seemed like it did the trick for me. As far as the barrel goes, I actually lucked out on that. I uh, reused the barrel I took off my Palmetto State KS-47 run on, and uh, it ran like a champ for me. I had no further issues with it. However, when I uh, decided to get a little bit longer barrel, a 20 inch barrel, and make this into a rifle, I uh, incurred several issues. One with the feed ramp, and another with the gas port. So with the feed ramp, there was actually two problems in play. One was I was using a M4 cut upper with a rifle barrel trunnion. The second problem was this had just a standard AR-15 trunnion without any of the enhancements to the feed ramp. As you can see on the KS-47 barrel, it's actually a one-piece feed ramp. Now, that's the first time i ever seen this done before for this caliber, but uh, the modification actually dates back to the Bushmaster days. I'm pretty sure those are the guys that actually pioneered this modification. However, uh, unfortunately, those guys are now out of business and those rifles are long since discontinued. But it's good to see Palmetto is utilizing that in their barrels. Because as you can see, it really aids in feeding. But like I said, some manufacturers already have several of these upgrades figured out. But if you buy old stock like I did on that 20 inch barrel, it's more likely that you're going to run into problems. 
because it really did seem like it took this long to get everything sussed out. As it stands right now, I think the system is very reliable and it's a lot of fun being able to swap between your calibers. One of the great things with the 760x39AR is yeah, sure, you got to run a proprietary magazine, but I can still run um, my lower receiver. I can swap them between my 5.56 five, or this 760x39 upper with just this upper swap and a magazine change. That's essentially what's going to happen is you're going to have a dedicated bulk carrier group and upper receiver and magazine. But once you got that, you can swap them out with just two pins and a magazine swap. So it's really, I think, the way to go. I mean, I got a KS47 and I really like it. You got broad magazine compatibility. I can get with it with some, some 170 round drums. Problem with these AR15 conversions is that I don't believe there's any drums on the market right now for it. The cool things you got with the 760 by 39. AR conversions, you get that bolt hold open, and then again the bolt release, which gets your gun back in action way faster and much more smoothly than a gun that drops the bolt every time you uh, remove the magazine, like if you have a bolt hold open follower on your AK mag, or shoot, you just don't have any tactile response or last shot being fired out of your magazine. So honestly, my kind of thoughts on it, if you don't really care being locked into proprietary magazines, you get a lot more functionality out of these 760 by 39 AR conversions.